Hey there, YouTube. Picked up some mulch, but this isn't your ordinary mulch. This is rubber mulch. This is uh, from International Mulch Company. Uh, products called Rubberific. Um, we decided to go with the rubber mulch this year. Um, it's supposed to be guaranteed for 10 to 12 years color. Um, it is, if you haven't heard of rubber mulch before, it's a sort of a shredded tire product. There's a, a close up, if you can see that okay. Uh, so we're gonna put this down in the front area and I'll show that to you soon with the before and after looks like but uh, we decided to go with the rubber mulch to try to avoid having to buy mulch every couple years and have somebody cut it down uh, put it down or put it down myself so um, we'll uh, show you the front what it looks like beforehand and what it looks like afterwards but I'll just give you a close-up of the bag it says for landscape and you can use this to a one inch depth if you're gonna use this in a playground you want to maintain four inches for a five foot height fall or six inches for a nine foot height fall. Uh, again, this is International Mulch Company, the Rubberific brand. Uh, this bag here is uh, two cubic feet, the one that you'll see on the website or in the stores. Uh, I think they sell this at Lowe's is uh, a little less than a cubic foot. So I bought a pallet of this from uh, BJ's and we'll see how far this goes. All right, so we'll get back shortly. All right, here's the uh, first area that we're going to uh, put the mulch down. So I've got some lilies back there um, that I'm going to probably just uh, pull out. They didn't do so well. I might try to move them around a little bit. Uh, but I've also got some irises back there um, that I'm going to trim and split and move those around. And then the rest of this area is pretty bare. There was some tulips and daffodils there early in the season, but I don't have anything for summer or fall until I put more daylilies in. So this is the first area that we're going to do with the mulch. And then coming up to the second area here, uh, we put in some hydrangeas uh, that um, are still getting established got some weeding to do so I'm going to pull weeds uh, I'm going to trim up the hydrangeas and then we're going to go ahead and put down the rubberific here and then on the opposite side again I put in double knockout roses those are getting established those are coming back uh, since the initial flowers uh, blooms had uh, fallen off but they're reblooming and they're uh, coming in pretty nice and we're going to put down the rubberific mulch here after I do some more weeding. Just give you an idea of what it looks like before. And then give you an idea of what it looks like afterwards. There's the family dog. Alright, I will get back to you after everything is done. Alright. Finish the lower bed. Had to lay some more stone just to hold back the mulch. I don't want it washing out into my driveway. As you can see, huge difference, big contrast with the stairs, the stone, and the irises. So, this area. I ended up using uh, about three quarters of that bag and two bags. So I'd say two, almost three cubic feet of rubber mulch to cover this area. So at least I'd say an inch to two inches. Hope you like.